Well, Heath and I are back for a quick intermission for this episode. <laughs> hey, and, hey. And we want to assure you that in that hour and a half, we're still friends. Yeah, we haven't yet ruined our relationship in, in this hour and a half span, but it can happen at any time. It's like a thief in the night or a brain aneurysm. Yeah, I mean, we, we did just listen to the episode, you know, so this has been a true hour and a half difference. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're still good. Um, but think, it got us thinking. I think we racked up another hater yeah. within our own ranks. Yeah. John probably isn't your friend anymore. No, no. I, the thing is, it isn't me. Like, they're still friends with me on paper. Yeah, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> But they might be mad at you for being here now. Like, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a traitor. You're a traitor, you know? yeah. Uh, listen, it gets worse for Zeno in this next, in the back half of this climax here. Just going to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it doesn't get any better. I hope you guys are enjoying this <laughs> yeah. as much as we did, you know? Yeah. Well, and, and you know, this two-episode two bit is, is the climax, but this is the true, like, last... Episode of the of the book, really? Yeah, you know, yeah. Like at least as far as of this arc, you know. And I just we will, Heath and I both want to just say thank you to all of you who have made it thirty seven episodes and made it through this whole gulp to run and have just been with us and been such a big part of the community, making a community. Yeah, and especially the Discord for being so engaged. Like every day, there's so many conversations popping off. I mean, t- to the point that like. A positive problem in my life is waking up and having to catch up with all the Discord yeah, chats, you know? Absolutely. Heath, Heath was here this weekend hanging out, and we woke up this morning drinking our coffee, and we're, like, both scrolling through our phones, like, trying to catch up with y'all, and uh, just laughing kind of <laughs> at the yeah. same time at some of the jokes. So, for real, thank y'all for being engaged. We we love you all, and, and just... It's, our, yeah, it's amazing. It's but, beyond belief, you know? But we have to give another thank you to, to the community of the Southern Time Foolery Nation because uh, we've all been nominated in the Audioverse Awards. So like each member of the cast is nominated individually and the cast itself uh, is is nominated. So uh, go check out Audioverse Awards website. So you've got a couple days left to get those votes in. So Yeah, I think it closes on the 31st mm-hmm. of October. This Thursday. So you got a couple days to get this done. Uh, thank you for the nomination, though. I, again, like... Hell, we started this in April. I, I'm, we're overwhelmed with yeah. with the support. So. And, and we don't want to interrupt your your spoopy time, <laughs> uh, your Halloween week there. But if you you know if you appreciate what we've done and want to want to help us out and and vote on the Audioverse Awards, we'll never love you more than in that act. <laughs> you yeah. know. Um, and stay tuned. We are going to be launching a new tier on our Patreon. That's what I hear. But you know. Emily's usually heavily involved with yeah. that. <laughs> uh, we, we still haven't heard from her in an hour and a half, so I don't really know where we stand. We're about to put her on uh, milk cartons, <laughs> you know? If, Is that still a thing, the milk cartons? Uh, well, it's like on almond milk or like oat milk these days, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's where they put their kidnapping advertisements? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dairy's out. Or know? runaways. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay, that's that's enough. Here is the second half of We Go Up to Get Out of This Place, part two. Hope you enjoy. How are you guys doing this evening? What's going on? Oh, I am making it. Making yeah. it. Making it. Yeah. Chilling in space. Of, I There's feel like one of these days I'm going to ask that question and you guys are all going to be like, I'm doing great. And I can't wait for that day because like, I feel like 
for like the last I don't know six to ten sessions. It's been like I'm here, well, dude. I'm as here. soon as we get out of this damn prison moon, or <laughs> I mean, I won prison. the lottery, but you know, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm still stuck it's in the Still there. stuck in this Golta. moon. Yeah. Still yeah. fucking Golta. So, um, yeah. So speaking of that, I wanted to talk a little bit about that. So you know, do y'all know what episode book two started on? Anybody 20. know? Twenty. I'm just, I'm just like twenty. Don't remember. Twenty. Twenty is correct. Is when we officially put it on book two. Although, you could say that twenty might serve as a transitional episode. Um, okay. But that's fair. You arrived on Outpost Z, episode twenty-one, and episode twenty-eight. Is when you guys made your your plan to to come to Gulta and and rescue Sedona. That was episode twenty eight. It is that. now episode thirty seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine episodes. You guys want to know how many episodes I thought the prison would take? Three, <laughs> two. I was thinking one. I was thinking three, like <laughs> on a quick take, and I was like. But, you know, they may take five to six. <laughs> and here we are. I mean, you know us, over oh, at Oh, sweet summer Holy child. Man. Yeah. <laughs> We're completionists, yeah. you know? We just not, had to kill everything episodes. in there, man. Oh, well, you would killed everything. Well, mostly everything in there. <laughs> there is still uh, a lizard folk trapped in a cell. Um, and there's probably still a scared robot engineer Mm -hmm. just like you know chilling in the (laughs) in the robot maintenance bay tell me how many achievements are we missing because we need to definitely miss you're definitely missing the infiltrate gulta success (laughs) achievement so we gotta do that 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 new game plus dude we gotta get straight up miss that ghost achievement like we've got to go back and redo it all right guys let's let's like roll back nine episodes all right let's reload the save yeah. We're right. Yeah, yeah. Save scum. No, all right. Boys. Episode 21, guys. No. <laughs> that all be, being said, though, I mean, it's it's been a hell of a ride. It really has. And um, I got to hand it to you. You know, you guys have endured nine episodes of just grueling punishment. Poo poo. And um, I mean, a lot of it you brought on yourselves, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Right, right. Um, but you guys have done a pretty good job of of sticking with it and, and getting through it and adapting. And I and I, I want to I want to before we get into this episode, just say, you know, when the times get tough, y'all y'all stood together, and and we got here. You're not out of it yet, but we got here at least. We got here. To almost to the ship with everybody in lot alive. Yeah, we can put that how on that, on my feeling? headstone. You know how how <laughs> Emily, how are you feeling about about your your final chances here? Uh, Emily is quite nervous um, and really, honestly, like legitimately kind of scared uh, when we record it. When we push record, my hands started sweating immediately, um, but I feel like Ziva. <laughs> probably feels very powerful hand and like got her shit together and she's ready to do what she needs to to get these people on board. So basically the opposite of me. That. Okay. Well <laughs> it's why we play characters, right? Zach, mm-hmm. how 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 are you feeling about the whole like not just your current situation, but kind of this whole deal right here, like I mean, Zach had a pretty good time uh, bungling our way through this this prison, <laughs> but Oren, if you, that's what the question is, Oren thinks this whole thing, this whole mission has been foobarred. He is uh, pissed. He's been pissed this whole time since since the <laughs> since the jump. He has been furious because of how badly we have bungled uh, this operation. So yeah. Hmm. All right, what about you, uh, Josh? How are you and Fell feeling about this? So I, I mean, Fell is the is the guy that's like didn't even want to be a soldier. He's the guy that's like, oh, I didn't sign up for this, right? You know, like how are you feeling about all this? So as a player, 
I'm honestly feeling pretty good. Like I fell and Zeno are in kind of a tight spot right now, trying to get away, getting to the ship being the last ones lagging behind. But, you know, as a player, I feel like we're maybe going to be okay. I hope so. Uh, but Fell's headspace is probably more, words. more just, yeah, I know. Right. Emily, um, Fell's headspace is more, <laughs> uh, I, I guess just determined to, to see this thing through because he is, you know, still out of his element, but he's, he's learning. He's kind of, you know, growing a bit and having seen Sedona and the state that she's in has kind of a, a renewed motivation or, like energy to to get this thing done or to see it all the way through yeah i mean almost you know fell you actually you know despite being not not doing great on the combat roles has been pretty instrumental in keeping this thing as like (laughs) held together as it is by you know some some key door jams and stuff like that and some security yeah yeah the signal jam and everything like that so you despite not being signed up for this have been pretty instrumental in keeping everybody alive just through your understanding of mechanics and engineering, I'd say. So maybe, maybe he's starting to get a little boosted. Heath, how, how Mike, Mike's had a tough time of it, man. He's been chained up for most of it. He's, he's back in action now, but there was one point where you just got knocked all the way down. And I know that you were really mad at me about that. I know that Heath and Mike were pretty pissed about that whole situation. Yep. Yes, I was. <laughs> Still am. It's probably not going away. Uh, much like this fucking head cold that I've developed today. So I'm feeling kind of cruddy physically. Um, I'm, I'm glad we're in mm. a more exciting place for Mike. I, I think whereas I'm on DayQuil mode, uh, Mike is on like full on adrenaline at this point. Like... He's like in in his element to some degree, but like very determined to get everybody else and himself the fuck off of this rock. Word. Well, I think I mean that leaves Zeno, and Zeno, you are pretty pretty much the uh, in the worst position out of the whole crew. You know, well, you're down to one hit point, correct? Yes. You're yeah. 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 Point. I've been, a, I've been sitting at one hit point <laughs> and just sitting at life or death for the past, uh, couple of episodes. In fact, um, yeah. How, how are you feeling, man? <laughs> well, Zeno has just been, he's been persecuted. He's, uh, felt exposed, you know, resentful and even appalled at these, uh, at this, uh, this, as Lanty forces, you know, um, he's just trying to survive at this point, you know? Uh, yeah. So let's talk about your survivability for a second. So you're at zero stamina. Yes. One hit point. Yes. How many resolve points do you have? I have two resolve points left. Okay. So you can essentially go down twice. Yes. And stabilize. You certainly can't come back up. You can only stabilize yourself at this point. Correct. And just just to be clear here, to repaint the picture, you and Fell are the are still what a good fifty feet away We're from lagging behind the ship. a little bit, you know. Yeah, and yep. you have an encroaching army of prison guards and a couple Aeon guards about fifty feet away from you to the north. Is that correct? I'd say uh, mm-hmm. roughly about 100, 200 feet away from me. No, no. I know no? you'd say oh, that, okay. but... <laughs> <All right>. well, <laughs> no. Now, looking at the map, the closest ones are about 60 feet from us. 60 feet away. And then there's that little cybernetic zombie that you forgot about. I, oh, I didn't your, forget on about him. Back. Oh, okay. No, we absolutely He's on, he's on your back. We're just running, baby. Um. So... Yeah, it's a tough situation. I th- well, so, I mean, go ahead. Oh, uh, I mean, like, yeah, we're fine with the Aeon guards because, like, my Pokemon is just going to annihilate all of them. Like, we're we're totally <laughs> tiny, good to the north. Your <laughs> tiny Char Brander. <laughs> Literally, yeah. what Chad, was his name? Chad Brander. Chad Brander. Char Brander. Chad Brander. <laughs> I like. I think. I think he should have been Chaz Brander. 
Yeah, Chaz, Chaz Brander. We can retro change it to Chaz. Chaz. I mean, the thing is, the thing is, is he's holding it down. Yeah. Regardless yeah. of his name, he just he is holding <laughs> the entire Aslanti force at bay. This little tiny six hit point. <laughs> yeah. Fire he's got he's got monster is, energy is really drink pumping through his veins, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's the Fel and Zeno situation. We have Mike and Sedona and the uh, prisoners at the north end of the ship. And we have Ziva that has worked her way down to the south end of the ship to try to distract two patrol class security robots. And we have Orin on the ship. And I believe we ended it on your turn and you had this crazy notion of wanting to fire your lasers <laughs> on your starship <laughs> at something. Yes. Crazy yeah, and badass. Yeah. So, that's so where, <laughs> crazy. That's where we're going to start tonight with that. Okay. What you got, Heath? <laughs> I was just saying, crazy and badass are often so similar, right? Like, there's just a it's hair so that separates them. Yeah. Yeah. Fortune yeah, and glory. Absolutely. Fortune and glory. <laughs> okay. So, Orin, Zach. Yes. We, we debated about we this. We did. We did. Um, my, my, uh, an, an impassioned discussion. Let's call it that. It was. I mean, and, and, and tensions are high, and I and I understand. I I heard your argument. Okay. I didn't like it. Right. And I'm not going to accept it. But <laughs> I, I am willing. I'm willing to compromise with you. Okay. So okay. here's the deal for for those of you that don't know, it's pretty explicitly stated in the core rule book that starship weapons can't be used against people. You know, like, or buildings that's it's meant for starship combat, you know, for other ships. Now, it says that it's up to the GM's description, you know, 10 times damage and all this kind of thing. Here's what, here's what I came to. I'm going to let you target the dome that they're next to. Okay? Okay. And that explosion... If you hit and if you do enough damage, will then cause a rain of debris and chunks of building to to come down upon them, which they'll have to save against. It'll be a pretty substantial amount of damage. I feel like that's a fair compromise. All right, now and I, 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 I go ahead. Okay, I, I feel you. I accept your terms. <laughs> I accept your terms. I now now I have questions. You know, so okay. Do I'm sure I'm I roll? Ready. I roll this from the Epic Tracers character sheet, correct? You're gonna roll from yours because it's not gonna be Mike's gunner check, which is what the Epic Tracer sheet is linked to. So you are going to roll a d20 plus piloting plus dex. I happen to be really good at both of those things. Yes, I know you do. <laughs> Okay, so Oren still in starlight form because I'm not going to waste my opportunity while I have this. I mean, he is just <laughs> radiating energy. Of course, none of you guys can see this, but uh, I mean, eyes just glowing w with energy and teeth bared, gritted, and uh, he's just going to say, you know, sort of to himself, "Die, you Atlante fucks!" as he fires it. So, all right, so. Oren is just still in star form, just lighting up the bridge of the Epic Tracer, just swings the gunner's turret around and aims it at cell block J. Let's freaking do this, dude. Okay, so... I am, Are you rolling I, real dice I'm tonight? I'm rolling real dice tonight. Um, just okay. real quick, I think this needs to be stated, right? So, there's something really nice about the sound of a dice rolling on the podcast, but we play on Roll20, which has a digital dice roller, which is a really great feature that they have, and it makes the sound, and like you can roll it, or you can have it automatically roll for you. But that roll twenty track does not appear in the audio for the podcast, so I guess we're making an effort to try to roll more real dice. 
I guess. So we'll see. Well, it, start, it started with uh, Josh's inability to yeah. click his mouse properly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, no, it, it's more out of necessity for me than anything because uh, the the clicky dice rolls just have not been cooperating lately. They really haven't. They really haven't. And so, yeah, I, I'm 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 glad that you guys are going to real dice. I've been rolling real dice for the last couple episodes, and it just it feels good. And I guess I've gotten to a point to where I trust you guys, even though I said a few episodes that I would never trust you guys again <laughs> after the whole camera debacle. But we're all friends here, I guess. So we try. <laughs> we'll, uh... All right. So Oren's <laughs> piloting bonus is yeah. eleven, and his dex bonus is three. So that's a total of wow. plus 14 to the roll. And I rolled a six on the die, so that's a 20. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 20 is what you needed to hit. That's all it <laughs> took so, then. <laughs> so you're good to go. <laughs> uh, so Orin just so, fired so you're firing two linked laser cannons. Oh, right. All right. So that's going to be 4d4 total damage. <laughs> okay. Times 10, by the way. Uh, so that, that's, yeah. I failed to mention that because it is a Starship weapon, It's you have to times it by 10 to represent the amount of damage that it's going to do. Yeah. Um, and the reason I'm having to target the building is because I feel like it's big enough for the targeting systems to work. Okay. And so he's targeting the building. You're going to roll your 44 and uh, yeah. times that by 10. All right. 44. 2. 4. 3. 2. So that's 11. Oh, okay, 11 times, times 10, 10, right? Yeah. It's 110, right? <laughs> it's 110. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so like, I'm doing math degree. or something. All right. All right. So, 70 of that damage goes, I'm sorry, 80 of that damage goes through. Okay. That seems like just, a lot of damage. It does, but it is not enough to puncture this round. Oh, but man. a giant crack ripples through the top of the dome. I mean, one more shot and that whole thing is going to collapse. Okay. Okay. I guess that just gives everybody six seconds to move. But yep. Yep. it gives yep. the guard six seconds to move. I mean, because well, right now, Fell and Zeno would be in danger of, of the explosion as well you know mm-hmm. like they're they're not far enough away from the blast radius but they're gonna have a turn before your next shot okay right. fell you're up i love it i love it by the way zach you know i know we disagreed on how we're gonna execute this but i love the cinematics of this like i just hope everybody all of you listeners and you players are appreciating the epic nature of what is going down right here i mean you know I just fired a laser cannon at a prison dome. This shit is fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, (laughs) he's a star man shooting holes in domes. (laughs) Nice. Nice. He's literally a star man in a gunner chair right now. It's fucking stupid. What world are we in? Oh, man. Okay. The star find the pack worlds. Yeah. Yep, that nailed it. Uh, well, actually, we're Golta. not. We're, we're, we're not. not in correct. We're, we're not Zelanti Star Space. You're as, yeah, that's correct. All right, Fel, you're up. All right, so Fel, without saying anything to Zeno, uh, Zeno's directly in front of him, uh, a little bit off to his left, but he's within reaching distance. He's going to take a uh, Serum of Healing Mark One, his last one, and just jab it into, into Zeno's back without saying anything. And continuing to run forward, oh, so wow. seeing seeing Zeno like kind of limping and struggling along, is going to do that for five healing. Wow, dude! dude that's awesome. Oh my gosh! So I am already adding it. So he does that, <laughs> and then I moves forward twenty feet HP into Ooh, like twenty feet, pretty man. much the center. Yeah, my, it's well the heavy armor, man. It's minus ten to my move yeah, speed man. from thirty. So I'm going to move my my twenty feet because I did an action uh, into the middle of the smoke grenade cloud or the smoke from the smoke grenade that I threw out earlier or last episode. Okay, great. Which if I get shot at, gives me concealment, so. That's correct. Pretty good concealment too, right? Yeah, I think so. I'd have to double Is it check 20%? the amount. It's, yeah, it's just regular concealment. Pretty right? sure it's, it's 20%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
It is Chaz, the fire elemental's <laughs> turn. Uh, he's gonna right. fucking Dude, how many he's gonna smash his shine. He's gonna smash an Oreo teeny, getting his fucking stang. Uh, no, I mean I don't. <laughs> the fuck, what the fuck can he do? I don't like. So there's one. So there's the one that he's already hit. So you can try to hit that. Yeah, one again. yeah. He's gonna if try he got a kill. <laughs> that would be it. Just make my fucking day. Uh, let me see. I don't even know what this. I believe in Chaz. Do. Slam. Is he gonna full attack? Yeah, yeah. Let's fuck it. This was a sacrificial lamb, you know. 14 and 16. Oh my gosh. Both of those hits. Six damage and seven damage, half bludgeoning, half fire. So 13 total. You kill one of the. It does uh, one of the <laughs> Chaz fucks it up. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Chaz is going to live yes. on as a legend, man. <laughs> yeah. Chaz just like. Chaz just like crawls up. The uh, the prison guard's leg and just starts like burrowing himself into his stomach, just like using his flame to burn a hole in the stomach and just and just like burns him out from the inside. Dude, you know what? You know what I'm gonna uh, do? I'm gonna have if Mike survives this, he's gonna get a tattoo of Chaz. <laughs> like straight <laughs> up. Right. <laughs> so on, on it, Chaz it needs to have him like text like around a, it. What now? It's like text around it saying it's better to burn out than fade away. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yes. I love it. I love it. So is Chaz, Chaz, you said it was like a fire elemental, but looked like a, a spider? Spider. Okay. Yeah. Looks like a spider. Pyrantula. It's like it's like a little four-legged I, I spider looking thing. Pyrantula was like the best Pokemon no, sorry. name. Yeah. It was, yeah, yeah that, you sure. killed yeah. it. All right, it's now the security robots turns and they're just going to hold their position. They're just you know, ready and attack for anybody that comes within melee range. Both of them are. It is the cybernetic zombies turn. And it is going to move up right behind Zeno. Okay, Zeno. This is. We're all shaking our heads. This is it. This is. This is it right here. I'm gonna need a okay. picture of those dice. <laughs> slam up against you. A slam. Fuck you. Yeah. For sixteen. To hit. That's gonna. I think that's gonna hit. Yes, that's gonna fucking hit. For 11 damage. Fuck. Zeno's down. God damn it. Now, is there any way that Fell, being the only one out there, would realize, being in the middle of a smoke cloud, would realize that Zeno is down? Maybe uh, a perception is, check? Is yeah. anybody besides Fell do what? Like, no, no. Is there any way that Fell would realize that Zeno just got dropped by the zombie being in the middle of a smoke cloud? Like, would he be able to see? No, okay. he wouldn't. Now, you can roll a perception check to see if you hear him cry out. Okay. Well, over yeah. over the, the sound of la a ship laser flying <laughs> over your head. Fair. Let me... Smashing into a dome. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I, should I do that now or do that as on my turn? You can do it on your turn. Okay. Uh, Zeno. You use a resolve point. You're down. Stabilized. Down to one resolve. Ziva. Okay, so... Now you have a crazy plan of your own. <laughs> crazy? It might not be sane, but... You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get a fresh beer for this one. I think I need a fresh oh, beer. Fuck. Talk amongst yourselves. Crack this open is a cold. Rare All yeah, right, hey, yeah. hey, Adam. We'll see you. All right, I'm back. I got a fresh beer. I'm sure you plotted many ways to fuck me up, so I'm ready. <laughs> Emily, what do you got? Um. So, from Ziva's last turn, she whistled. Did the robots yes. do anything? They looked your direction as, as much as the robots can look. 
but they did not move. Cool. Okay, well, then she's going to say, fuck. And she's going to pull out her azimuth, or excuse me, no, her tactical semi-auto pistol. And pop a shot off at one. Okay. And a 20 to hit. A 20 to hit definitely hits. Awesome. I assume you're hitting the one closest to you? Correct. The most southern. Okay. The most southern the one. Most but that's your people. Right, well, <laughs> takes one and I one. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, for four damage. For four damage. Yep. Okay. You get you get it in there. What does it do? It takes that damage very angrily, but also remains stationary. I mean, it's not its turn. So oh, no, you don't really no. Um, she's it, gonna. It takes the damage, and it's not happy about it. She's Been programmed going... to not be happy about laser blasts. I mean, because it's that's a or pistol really? shots. She's gonna go ahead and move. Uh, her movement back uh-huh. away from them to try. She her point is to try and draw them south of the ship, so that obviously the people on the north can come around and get All in. All right, so roll. Let's see. Let's see here. I don't think intimidate's gonna work. You know, because mm-hmm. I mean they don't they don't have what about a bluff as far as. Yeah, I like bluff. That's a good good one. Let me just look here. Sleight of hand, maybe? No, I mean, no, no. No, I like bluff. I think bluff is your best, is, is what I'm going to go with. I like bluff. But you need to say something uh, to them. Okay. All right. Uh, so, but right before she kind of, she pops the shot off, and the robot turns its head again, and she says, um... Fuck, I don't know. Now I'm nervous. Um, <laughs> she says, <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, she says, fuck you, you stupid bolt bags. Follow me if you want to fight. <laughs> and just kind of runs off. And she's like in her head, freaking the fuck out. Uh, okay. Uh, so the bluff check we'll see what was ha- for a 15. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The bluff check was a 15. All right. It's grub. Grub is up. The grub bus. Grub had his tentacles down on the ground. And I don't know if you guys have realized yet, he senses movement, tremors, and feelings through his tentacles, which is how he was trying to communicate with Ziva. He wasn't sexually assaulting her. He was trying to talk to her. His tentacles all of his tentacles are on the ground what they all say and he hears and he hears Zeno hit the ground or he feels Zeno hit the ground and Grub is going to move back out into the fray what oh, fucking Grub, Grub. MVP okay. Grub holy shit That's you have surprised double move. me Oh, and it's going to get right in front of Xeno. Get that grub love. Ew. And you uh, don't have me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, <laughs> um, and then as, as, as a free action, he just puts his tentacle on you. Yes. It is the Aeon Guard's turn. <laughs> okay. They are going to fire. One is going to fire. No, they're both going to fire on Grub because Grub is now blocking Zeno. Zeno is on the ground. And uh, Grub has put himself. They're not, they're not interested in that zombie at all. BT Dubs. I'm just like, you know, no big deal. No. 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 The zombie is fine. No. Okay. No. Not the biggest threat, huh? The zombie. Grub is a much bigger. Yeah. Well, the gr- Grub is much bigger thing. You know That's, what I mean? Yeah, Plus, it's okay, an escaped prisoner. So. Yeah. And it is a giant. It is a giant, like like 
crazy looking worm Sand with tons worm. of tentacles. Yeah, yeah. But it's like he yeah. was just like worm, yeah. immediately humanized with his self sacrifice. And so we're like, no, why well, you just attack the zombie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Before, like, you wanted to leave this dude, so I don't want to hear it. I, from I was you, ready you to know? leave his like, ass for sure, yeah. You were ready to leave I'm that right right now. I feel horrible. I feel horrible. I just imagine like, the like, grub has like so eyebrows and shit, you know? Well, grub does not have a very good AC. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, this a, Both Aeon Guards are going to full attack. This could get... This could be the end of grub. We're going to start with one. Critical fail. Oh my... Dude... Don't oh ever do that again nice. with that. With that, don't ever do that again. <laughs> second, second attack, a four on the die. That brings it to an eleven total. Does not oh, hit. God, Kill me with that him. shit. <laughs> second Aeon guard is gonna full attack. Natural twenty. Oh my god. Wait, he doesn't. Does the Aeon Guard have a name? Does he have to roll a crit fail card? Nope. He does not have a name. Hmm. So he doesn't get a crit success card either. Okay. Um, and so I am going to. This is not good. Okay, that is going to be 14 points of damage on. Grub. Grub. Ugh. Grub is at six HP and he uh. has one more attack coming uh. his way. Grub. Okay. Yeah, sixteen is gonna hit him. Mm. I ain't feeling it. Grub is dead uh. as he is filled with uh. on guard uh. assault rifle bullets, and he slumped and he falls to the ground right in front of Zeno's unconscious body. Mm, F. F to the chat for my boy Grub. F. Uh, Damn. Mike. Uh, so, I mean, I guess do I need to roll perception to see if I heard Ziva? N- no, no. Okay. I mean, I mean, Ziva told I you what know. to do before she headed down there. You want to refresh? Yeah. What her? Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sick. So, like, I'm stupid also. <laughs> <laughs> before she ran down, Ziva essentially said, get everybody on board. I'll distract the guards. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you know she went yeah, around the opposite like, side of the ship. There's... Yeah, I'm just saying they're still where they were. <laughs> it's not they a are. turn yet. So. They definitely are. <laughs> That's true, my dude. You're uh, all yeah, correct. I wanna, I, <laughs> yeah, I want to have uh, all of the like prisoners uh, with me. Let, like move up as much as we can, but still be like you know unseen, like around around the edge of the ship, like where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Just so they'll be closer. Once they do move, I can run them on there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I missed that. I'm sorry. I missed that completely. I, I want to like have Mike like usher like the rest of the prisoners to like come further around the ship, but not visible. I just want to be as close as I can to get to the hatch when they do leave their posts. I don't want to run these people into a, uh, you know bunch of bullets yeah okay so you're kind of getting them a little bit away from the oncoming Aslanti keeping them close to you basically right yeah and and you know doing the expected like you know stay low be quiet keep keep your eyes out when our moment comes we got to move fast you know okay so don't know yeah she'll she'll and the rest of the crew will ready in action to board the ship if it becomes clear or if there's a good opportunity to Oren, we made it back around uh, 
I guess Orin is gonna stay determined and just keep on firing until... Can I fire as a full action? Is that a thing I can do? I don't know how starship weapons work. Like... Uh, you can't, you cannot, because you're not at a full level, so you can only do once, you're not at the right level to be able to do that. Okay. Um, so, well, I mean, you are, but I'm not going to let you fire at will at this point. You're going to take a shot here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, it's D20 plus 14. 15 on the die. 29. Yeah, that's going to get it. All right, 44, huh? Three. Two. One and three. Eight. Is that eight? No. Nine. No, it's nine. Nine <laughs> times ten is ninety damage. Yeah. Sixty of that goes through. Okay. And you punch a hole in the dome as the laser just <laughs> and shatters the glass as like metal struts and glass come raining down on all of the Aslanti. Here's the thing. Zeno did not get out of the way. Oh, God. Fuck. He did not make it far enough out of the way. Okay. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, he's going to automatically fail his save. Yeah, he's, he's basically going to... How many resolve do you have? You're stable. You're, okay. I have one resolve point. You have one resolve point. Yes. So you could use it to stabilize, but then you'd be... That would be I'd it. Because be like, you're going to take damage. You're going to take damage. You're going to take damage from the shrapnel, which will put you into unstable again. And then you're going to stabilize. Right? Yep. But that's your last resolve. Yeah. Which means you could not take another hit. I mean, is, is this correct? Is this where we're at? Yeah. So far. Well, all the joy of this incredible moment is completely sucked out. So, there's that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Let's talk about the Aslanti first. Yeah. Let's talk about the yeah, Aslanti we'll first. The, Let's talk about the Aslanti first. And, so they're making and reflex jazz. saves. All right, so the Aeon Guard, the first one, fails. The second one, fails. So both the Aeon Guards, I'm just going to roll once for all the prison guards. Okay. Oh my god, they rolled a one <laughs> for all of them. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to roll 4d6 bludgeoning damage and 3d6 flame damage. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Me? You want me to roll these dice? Yeah, One. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're doing the damage here. One. Five. Three. Three. Twelve. It's twelve on the bludgeoning. And then 3d6 fire? Yeah. One. Oh my gosh. Five. Five. Ugh. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven fire damage. Uh, okay, so that's... What did we say? Twelve? Twelve and eleven, yeah. Ele eleven. That's twenty-three. Right? Yes. Okay. All of the Aeon Guards are dead. Fuck you! Yeah. Not the Aeon Guards, all the prison guards. Yeah, no, all the prison mean. guards are dead. <laughs> the two of the Aeon, the Aeon Guards are not dead, but they're both bloodied, but they are incapacitated as they are pinned under the rubble. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, thank God. What okay. about... What about my boy Chaz? Here's the thing. <laughs> Chaz is dead. Chaz yeah, he is don't dead. Get Even if he, he don't get a roll? Even if he passes, well, he's, immune he's gonna to take the fire half damage. damage. He's immune to the fire damage. Even if he passes, he's gonna take half damage, and that blessing damage is gonna be enough to squat. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, gonna yeah. squash him. Yeah. Um, here's what we're gonna do about Zeno. There is a cybernetic zombie in front of him. That's also gonna have to roll. If the zombie makes the save. 
the zombie is going to get out of the way and Zeno is going to take the hit. If the zombie fails the save, he's going to take the brunt of the hit and Zeno won't take the oh, hit. Oh, I guess. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> hey, that's. You are a cool guy, but also a merciful one. <laughs> bad roll, bad roll, zombie, Divine bad roll. Portion, so, so I, need, I need all of you to. Put your put all of your spirit into fucking up this dice yeah. roll. For I need Zeno. 100 this is likes. For Zeno. <laughs> 100 likes. <laughs> <laughs> one like Smash that one notification prayer. bell. Oh, come on. Fails the save. Good. Good. Nice. <sighs> Fuck. Ow. Sorry. Oh, thank God. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, thank God. I think that's going to be enough. To to kill the zombie. <laughs> How much did we say it was? 12 and 11. Uh, 23 total? 23 total damage. 23, 23 total damage. Dead. Nice. Dead. Wow. Okay. Divine we got a chance, y'all. We got a chance. All right. Now, here's the thing. Fell, you have to roll to know if you are aware of this. Yep. All right. So, perception roll. Got a plus eight to that. Uh, it's a it's not 9 bad. plus 8, so 17. Alright, uh, yeah. So you see, you kind of feel Grub's presence as he moves through. And you definitely hear Grub go down. And you 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 heard the slam against Zeno's. You went, uh, and, and collapsed. So yeah, Fell's running, sees the Grub go past him. And kind of looks over his shoulder to see what he's doing. And in that moment, sees Zeno fall to the to the zombie, and then the everything com, comes crashing down as Orin's blast from the uh, epic tracer destroys that cell block. And in seeing Zeno go down, is going to double back to him. Uh, so that's a ten foot move, and I don't know how the dragging mechanics, reposition, what have you, works. Is that part of an action or? part of the movement or like how does how does that work because i want to i want to drag xeno as I far think, to, like as i, I think can. that you're gonna have to pick him up right which would be an action okay so i pick move him up. and then i just hoist him up onto my shoulder because I'm, I'm thinking yeah. just like grab him by the arms and just start walking backwards fireman okay carry. so if you want to do that yeah that. if you want to do that you can do that and here's what i'm saying you just can move half your movement Okay. With a drag. Okay, so I guess in this turn, say I, I run over to Zeno, grab his arms, and go to start moving him, but since I can't move. Well, no, if you're just grabbing his arms, mm -hmm. that won't be an action. But okay. If, if, so hoisting him up and carrying him would be an action, but if you're just dragging him. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to treat it like difficult terrain then. Okay, so I moved ten feet. Would you, would you let me do ten feet there and then five you feet would not, back? Or? You would not be able to. No, so you would use your action. You would down it to a move, and so you have a full movement now. Well, half of that full movement after you grab his arm. See, so here, you can move him fifteen feet from from where he is. Here's the thing, though, man. Like I had to move ten feet back to get to him. No, you don't understand. You used your movement uh -huh. to do that. Right, to move up to him. Right. And then you're using your action, you're downsizing it to another movement. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so then what, I get to move him back 10 feet? Like half of my 15, movement speed? Well, yeah, if, if that's half your movement yeah. speed, yeah. You All right, so feet. I'll move back here if you could move his token. Okay. Okay. You're almost, at, you're almost out of the woods, but not quite. Okay. I mean, because these these Aeon Guards are still alive. <laughs> they just have to get out of the rubble. Okay, it is now the security class robot's turn. They don't move. Fuck. Mm. They have been programmed to hold the hold the ramp. Okay. The cybernetic zombie is dead. Zeno. You're unconscious, but you've already stabilized, right? That's correct. Okay. Ziva. Oh. Okay, I need to double check. Uh, oh, I'm too far away, I bet. For um, limited telepathy. 
<laughs> okay. She's gonna come back up and attack. I mean, she's okay. got to draw their attention. It's, it's either that, either she comes in and yep. attacks, or she tries to get word to Orin to fucking move the ship. Like, spin that bad boy. Like, and he, could he thinking, put the hatch door where the people are? Uh, I mean... Based on what Ziva it's sees. It's going to be a pretty... Uh, I mean, I don't think so. For one, he's in the gunner's chair. And two, like, it's not its not like lifted off. It's still like I know. got its feet down and the ramp down, you know? Yeah. But, okay. I so it would take him like too, too long to do that then. I think we're going to have okay. to charge, girlfriend. Yeah, Ziva's going to say, all right. You won't follow me? I'll come to you. And she's going to move... Whoop. Not the entire map, sorry. She's going to move back to the edge where she was. And take another shot. Okay. Oh, shit, sorry. (sighs) Let's see what we got. A ten. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna hit. Um, as a free action, can she scream out something? Yeah. I don't know if Mike will hear it, but she's gonna say they won't move away. <laughs> I need reinforcements. I mean, Mike, to be fair, is like looking around the corner, and and he can probably yeah. see like the edge but, of one of the bots so he's like listening for for gunshots or for yells or whatever yep yeah and that's her that's her turn okay grub is dead the aeon guards are both going to make strength checks to try to get out of this rubble okay 22 on the first one he gets out 18 on the second one does not get out so this first one gets out. Don't think he has range. We'll see here. No, so he's going to... Well, he couldn't shoot anyway because he used his action to get out. So he's going to move. He's going to move up. Okay, Mike. So as a free action, Mike wants to turn to the group of prisoners behind him and be like, Fuck! I'm assuming he, he heard the shot and the yell from... Ziva. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, he turns to the uh, the prisoners and is like, fuck! Um, well, we've got to go through them robots to get on this ship. Uh, looks like we're just going to have to fight our way through, so maybe if we charge them, we can overwhelm them quick enough to get out of here. But I'm going. And it, like, he's going to run in and <laughs> fucking attack. God, this is, oh, this shit. is so, okay. so fucked. Yeah, I get to the nearest one round the corner of the ship. I've told the prisoners what's up. Whether or not they come to help me is on you, technically. Uh, I mean, they're not really in fighting condition. Nor am I, my guy. You know, <laughs> like I'm, I'm not doing great. <laughs> well, my, my hope is that we can at least distract the robots so that they can get on the ship, and then we can all yeah. just back into it while firing. So you want to get an attack in there, Mike? Yes, sir. 21 with the... Oh, yeah, that definitely hits. For 12 bludgeoning damage. Fucking Mike swinging hard, dude. Swing it, swing it, swing it. Sedona's just keeping her eye on you. They're going to move up a little bit just just so that they can... um, they can be, you know, within a movement's distance to get to the ramp when it comes time. Okay. Aaron. Uh, I mean. You want to try to fire another shot at the at the 
at I mean, the dome. I've, I've taken Send the dome. I've taken the dome down. I mean, you've taken a piece of the dome out. But with all this you. rubble, would Orin even know that there was two guards still standing? Can I see that on my target? I mean, it's, just, it's, it's a here? matter of whether or not Orin is just like, ah! you know, if it's just like an open fire on the prison itself. You know what I mean? Like. Mm. I don't I mean, know. Because, I yeah, don't know you, you put a hole in it, but you can cut in like now that it's the structural integrity is weakened, like yeah. it'll be easier I mean, to blast off pieces right, well, of it. You I, know? I'll, I'll let you talk me into getting a, a big a hit on these Aeon guards. So let's do it. Yeah. All right. A six plus 14 is 20. 20 is what you need. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 44. One. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 44 for that. Okay, one, and then a four on the second one. Two. And three. Ten. Right? Ten. Oh, that's good. That's good damage. That's yeah. 100 damage. Uh, so, I'm, yeah, you knock off another chunk. Now, this one isn't going to do as much damage. This one's going to do 2d6 bludgeoning and 1d6 fire, but it's still sending, sending it out there. Five on the first eye in the bludgeoning, uh -huh. and six on the second. Mm. Oh, and nice then, damage one, there. Yeah, and then one d six fire is one. One. Ah, uh, so twelve damage on the one that's pinned is going to take all that because it can't. He can't make the save. Let's see about the other ant guard. Yeah, he makes the save, so he's going to take half of that. Uh, so that. Hmm. Okay, I think at this point, Orin would get up from the gunner chair and head to move to the pilot. Move to the pilot's chair. Yes. Yeah, trying to start getting the ship going. Start All right, Fell. Movement. Fell is going to use his movement action to continue dragging Zeno another ten feet. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, that puts me there. So ten feet to the south towards the ship. And then is going to downgrade his action to another movement and move him or drag him another 10 feet. So that's 20 feet for this turn. Okay. And that's Fell's. Yeah, slowly but surely turn. making his way. Just like, I mean, this is heroic as hell. Fel, Fel is dragging an unconscious Zeno. He like bursts through the, the smoke cloud. And, you, and all of you now see, well, everybody but Ziva sees fell just dragging like Zeno behind him. I got I got Zeno you know and like he's just trying desperately to get him to the ship. It is now <sighs> the the security class robots turn and they are going to do some attacks now. Good. Okay, the one on Mike is going to slam Mike. Full attack. Okay, misses on the first one. Mm-hmm. It's gonna miss on the second one, I think, a 14. Oh, right? yeah. That's a miss. Ooh, yes! Yeah. Yes! All right. Yeah, I was gonna say, I also... <laughs> I, I don't think Mike would notice Fell carrying him back because he's, like, fighting this fucking robot, you know? Yeah, I guess Mike <laughs> is pretty engaged at this moment. A little distracted. And this other one is going to move five feet towards you. Ziva, and fire a ranged weapon at you. Well, okay. Yeah, I think a 30 is going to hit. <gasps> oh, shit on shingles. Okay. For eight electric non-lethal damage. Oh, dear. Okay. I don't love that. It is your turn, because Zeno is still unconscious. Sorry about it, John. No, no, okay. this is thrilling. I'm, I'm almost like a listener <laughs> for the podcast. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm rooting okay. for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so Ziva yeah. is going to come around. Okay. So she can't quite get into flanking with Mike. Um, but she's moved to where she can. And she's going to shoot at the robot she's been shooting at. Um, and... 15? Against KAC, yeah. right? Yeah, KAC. 
That's a miss. Oh. Well, as another free action, she's going to holler to the prisoners and say, Get on when you can! And that's it. Okay. Aeon guards are up. Oh, boy. This is... I palms are sweaty. Good thing is these Aeon guards can only move 20 feet. <laughs> and he's going to try to fire at Fell. But there's going to... How long does that smoke last, Fell? Uh, let me check real quick. Smoke grenade. Uh, one minute. So 10 rounds. Mm. Okay, so it's still there. So he's going to try to fire two shots, I guess. Actually, no, what he's going to... Yeah, he's going to fire one shot because he moved at Fell. With concealment, though, right? With concealment, yeah. right? Yep. All right, so a 25 would hit, but let me roll that concealment. Yep, it hit regardless of EAC or KAC. It makes the concealment. Rolls a 40. Neat. Concealment. Uh, okay, so you're going to take... Not bad. You're going to take seven piercing damage. Okay. And then the other Aeon Guard is going to try to get up. Does not get up. And is still pinned. So that leaves me at 17 HP. Mike, you're Mike's, up. Mike's going to full attack. That's what he's going to do. Um, I want to use my Dainspiration. Okay. Oh, the Dainspiration. Oh, yes. Nice. All right. Yes. Okay, so the inspiration was on the first one, right? Yeah, which makes it a 20. Okay, so 20 is going to hit. Nice. For 11 bludgeoning damage. Uh, oh, okay, that's good. And what's the second attack? It's a uh, 13. Uh, that's going to miss. Yep. It's all right. You've got this, th- you've got this one bloodied. Sweet. Okay. Sedona is going to make a charge. She's going to try to get the prisoners on the ship. And she's going to take the opportunity to attack for the rest of the prisoners. Oh, jeez. That brave woman. Yep. Damn it. So we'll to okay. corpse back on so the like ship. So, like, they're, like, running behind my back while I'm, like, holding the robot off. That's, that's awesome. That's super cool. Yeah, yeah. And the robot kind of reaches around to try to hit Sedona. And is going to hit Sedona with a 26. Can can I bodyguard feed her? <laughs> but a 26 wouldn't matter. It uh, wouldn't. Yeah? It wouldn't matter. I mean, if it's a 26, it's going to hit no matter what. Yeah. Okay. So Sedona has 18 HP. Right. She's all right. She's mm. all right. She takes a smack right against the back of the head for eight damage. Oof. Uh. But she is on the ship. Good. Went upside down. Good. Oh, She's this is nerve <laughs> dude. And I will just say, like, Sedona, Sedona, when she steps onto the ship, she kind of breathes a sigh. She's like, I'm home. Bitch, we ain't got time for this. It's Oren's turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that she said, she said it to herself, you know, just kind of like, kind of had that thought to herself. And the rest of the prisoners get on the ship. All right. As they run in behind her. Oren takes his seat at the pilot's chair and begins flipping switches and dialing knobs as furiously as he can to start the tracer up. Okay. I mean, that's my whole... I don't... I don't I mean, can I move it? Let's fucking go! Gets on the intercom. Let's fucking go, people! Fell, you can go... 20 feet, you know? Yeah, so I just plotted it out. It's going to take me four turns dragging Zeno onto the ship, moving at 20 feet per turn. Well, we're still in a fight, well, my guy. Let's get it going. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Turn. Yeah, no way. He's he's going to just keep keep dragging his, uh, his old android buddy. This lanky, black-eyed mechanic from 
No, you see, you see. Is, hold on, Adam. You see, you see, like okay, think, think like the uh, in in any of the Marvel movies. Anytime you see Iron Man, like inside of his suit, his helmet, because you know Fell's wearing full Aeon Guard armor right now. You see close up shot of Fell's face, just sheer, just just panic, having just taken a shot from the Aeon Guard and dragging his friend through the smoke is is, is like not even aware of all of the ridiculousness that's going on behind him with the security bots doesn't even know that those are there and it's just just gritting his teeth and just pulling his friend as as best as he can trying to get him to safety and just you know oh hoping God. that this Damn, works dude, out i felt that I fucking felt that man this is insane dude this is insane Ugh. the security class robots are up okay Full attack on Mike. Okay. Okay, first one, a miss. Okay. Second one. Mm. Oh, that's going to hit you, dude. For 22, right? That hits. 22 is the roll? Yeah. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. You're going to take nine bludgeoning damage. Oh. I am low, so low. And this second one is going to fire some shots at Ziva. A full round attack. First attack. 18. Fuck. To hit EAC. Yeah. <laughs> what the okay. fuck, man? Oh, um, Eight damage. And the second attack on this full attack. Oh, that's going to hit two with a 19 on the die for six more damage. Um, He's unconscious, dude. I'm, how you looking? I'm how, down. how you looking, Zero? I'm down. I'm oh, no. Oh, fuck. No. 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 Not the captain. No, dude. Not the fucking Negative captain. three. Oh, no. Well, there's no negatives. You're at zero. You're dying and unconscious. Uh, it's actually so it's non-lethal damage. So you're actually just unconscious. Oh, cool. Okay. You're not. You're stable. Ooh, neat. So you're 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 actually <laughs> stable. <laughs> just oh, because these security still... bots won't kill you. They're just they trying can. to recapture us. Um, That's correct. I got plenty of resolve, but it doesn't matter, right? Because right, it doesn't matter. Well, right, right. no, you can use multiple can, to bring you can... yourself up to one. To get back you can do that. Okay. You can use a like what is it like a quarter or of your a quarter of your total. I'll look it up because she can't do that until yeah. next turn, right? Well, it's her yeah. turn. Oh. Um. Hold on. Uh, stay in the fight, I believe, right? If you are stable and have resolve points, you can spend one resolve point at the beginning of your turn to regain one HP. You are no longer dying; immediately become conscious and can take the rest of your turn as normal. Yeah. So you yeah, no, one stabilizing. Resolve. If you're already stable, it's one resolve to, to gain one HP and stand the fight. So okay. stabilizing is what takes a quarter. Yeah. Then it's yeah. You gotta it's yeah. like yeah. a track, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then she's going to spend a resolve, one of her six. Um, okay. And is fucking captain is staying in the fucking Ugh. fight dude uh-huh. so am, did i go down or since yeah 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 you, you did you went down okay. so you went prone so it's going to be movement to get up all right so uh move and okay i'm gonna go ahead and down grade my action or was the resolve point my action is that just uh i Somebody still it's have not. It's up, not. It's then, not. A, it doesn't count as just, an action. It's just, just okay. the thing you can do, as far as I can so, tell. So it's, a, it's a start at your turn. Kind yeah, of the beginning you. of your turn. Yeah. Um, since the North robot used his reaction already, she's going to go ahead north and skirt around Mike and get as close to the hatch door as she can. But she's trying not to draw an attack from the southern robot so she's not trying to like jut through the center you know what i mean okay okay all right so the aeon guard is going to the one that's pinned is going to try to get up this time he does get up 
is going to move. And then the one that's already in position is going to do a full spray automatic attack. Automatic, like just So the way this works is it's, a, it's under the penalty of a full attack. So it's gonna be a minus four, but he's gonna attack both, let's see, Fell and Zeno. What kind of range is he's just have? spraying. Uh, the assault rifle has an 80 foot range. Ew. Okay, so we're just Ew. both within 20 feet range. Oh boy. Let me make sure that that's. You're talking about the, the, the clear northern front. one or the southern one? The one the closest to you. Okay, the one closest to yeah, southern us one. is 60 feet away from Zeno. 65 yeah. feet so away. So it has 80 range. foot range. It has the automatic special quality. And so he rolls an attack against both of you, but with the minus four penalty. Great. Come on. Okay. So against Zeno, it's an 18. Yeah, that hits. Okay. And against Fell. But you got to roll concealment on both of those. Okay, you're right. On Fell, it's a critical fail. Okay. So concealment on the hit for Zeno. This is so huge. Did you look up to verify the percentage of concealment? I want to make yeah, sure I get 20. this right. Probably 20 it's a regular I've still got one fucking resolve point left. You do? Yes. Bruh, use practice. it, stand up, and fucking run, man. Uh, it hasn't been my turn. No, fair. But he uh, makes the concealment. For which? With a 32. For, for the attack well, on He Zeno? missed you. He missed okay. you. Um... He hits Zeno, making him unstable again. So Fell's just dragging Zeno along and sees him take another, you know, just say a couple shots from a full auto fire and sees him start oozing. And do androids bleed? <laughs> Ask Philip K. Dick, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Mike, you're up four HP. Squaring up against this robot. I mean, I I got a full attack. Okay. I got a nine on the first one, but I got a twenty-one on the second one. Twenty-one's going to hit. Thirteen bludgeoning damage. Thirteen bludgeoning damage. Okay. Still standing, Fuck. but very close. Sedona will use her turn to relay to you, Oren, everything that's going on outside. Uh, it's now your turn. Okay, so hearing all this, Oren jumps up from the, from his seat, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And as part of move action, draws his rifle, and he's still whoosh, emanating all of this energy, and he just heads straight to the, to the ramp and sees what's going on, and can I shoot the, uh, the northern... Uh, security bot. Yeah, we can say you get down to the, like the top of the ramp, right? Top, yeah, top of the ramp. I'm just looking out. Shooting and just, down. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm just gonna roll this on my sheet. It's faster. It's a 14 to hit. It's gonna miss. Oh, it's good damage too. I don't. Fell. That's all I got. Continued to drag. Yeah. Yeah, Fell continues dragging around the side of the ship. He, you know, kind of is dragging him back and and. Just for flavor, say he's you know still just furiously pulling him backwards and bumps into one of the struts and realizes like looks up and realizes that he's under the epic tracer or the epic tracer. Looks to his left, sees Mike fighting a security bot, and just grunts, lets out a sigh, and continues dragging him around the side of the ship. Oh my god, this is insane! This is insane. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's the robot's turn. Okay. Full attack on Mike, dude. Oh, be with me, Jesus. I rolled an 18 on the die. That's a mess. 
Uh, wait, wait, what's no, your... Okay, well, tell me the real number. Modify. 25. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> even, with the, even with the penalty? Even with the minus four penalty? That's with the penalty. Yeah, that's, oh. with, the, that's with the penalty. Oh, man, you take 10. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I've got the wrong character sheet pulled up. But everybody just calm down. <laughs> you calm down. You're the one rolling the wrong shit over here. <laughs> calm down. Shut so it's the a 24. Fuck up. It's a 24 to hit. I mean, I, I feel and like you eight. should have to re-roll that. You used the wrong creature, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll re-roll it. It's a 26 to hit. Oh, no! Okay, whatever. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then the damage is going to be 13 bludgeoning well, I'm damage. I'm unconscious and dying. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so Mike is down. Oh, God. Oh, man. Zeno, you have one resolve left. You are unstable. I'm going to use that you resolve. Have to use, you have to use it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to use it to stabilize. Yeah. yeah. Gord. Oh, my gosh. I, uh, I have no more resolve points. No. Is Ziva within that is five feet of the northern robot? No. You particularly weren't, so you could avoid the opportunity attack. He couldn't so have she opportunity sees Mike attack go down. Her. Yep. She's going to take a five-foot step forward into melee with him. Is that considered... I'm sorry, it, it always confused me. Is that considered your move action? It is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then yeah. she's not going to full attack, but she is going to call um, her sword into her hands inevitable downfall <laughs> comes into Ziva's hand she has one HP left she's standing tall against this robot what did you roll a 20 a 20 what? hits how much damage did you do only three <laughs> three damage as you bring your sword down across the robot, it slices through its spine and renders it inert. You have destroyed oh my God. one robot. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. That was a screech. Oh, man. That, that, that was right in my ear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just got excited. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to die. Cool. But she's gonna call. She's gonna call out to. She's gonna say, "Mike is down. We need help." And that's her action. That's. I mean, that's her move. Return everything. As a move action, the Angard is going to reload, and then it is going to fire a long shot at Zeno. Not at Phil. Zeno's the old You're a son of a bitch. He's first going to shoot at the closest at thing. But it fell in range. Thing. Fell's dragging him. Closest thing. Ugh. No. He's got concealment, too. Yeah, I just... This is real growth for Zeno. If he if he pulls Fuck, through man. this, he's going to, like, fucking... No, hate I mean, John, <laughs> this is... This. He, here's the thing, John. If you take a hit, if Zeno takes a hit, he has I'm one round yeah, yeah, to be he healed, take the hit, and then he's I'm dead. I'm saying if he doesn't take the hit and he survives, that's what I mean. Uh, guys, this is this is a on the edge moment here. This is kind of a step. Hey, hey, Adam, <sighs> Adam, could you just not? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to. But do you it. are though. This is Adam we're talking about, the Grim Dark DM. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Aslanti piece of yeah, shit shooting at a dark. down combatant. Uh, like, come the fuck on. That's pretty good. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, it's a space Nazi. What's the what's the role? What it is a fucking space Nazi. <laughs> what's the role, man? I rolled a two on the good. Bed. <laughs> fucking <Is> good. <laughs> fucking miss. It's a miss. Oh my god. I don't need right. this. I don't need this roller coaster. I have emotions. anxiety. 
<laughs> None I of us do, I want to get man. off this ride. <laughs> I don't care for this The other AI guard moves up 40 feet. uses a full action to double move. Actually, he's going to use a full action to run. Why not? Great. Mike, what are you going to do? I'm going to deposit a bunch of resolve points into the uh, old Starfinder bank. I want to stabilize <laughs> and uh, get myself up with one HP. So that'll be three, because it, cause it'll be okay. one point five rounded up and one. And can you okay. do that on the same turn? Yeah, yes. you can. Okay. I'm pretty sure, like, you can come from unconscious to in the fight. Uh, I mean, I hope so, because that's what I want to do. Um, can I still like move in action and shit, or is that my whole turn? Uh, let me, we're looking that up. Let's make sure we got this here. It says if you're stable and have enough resolve points, or if you are knocked unconscious from non lethal damage. So you have to be stable first uh, to be able to spend one RP at the beginning of your turn or regain one HP. You're no longer dying. I was knocked unconscious by non lethal damage. Okay. No, the slam is lethal damage. It's the ranged electro arc pistol that is non lethal. Oh, so they can only kind of shoot to kill yeah so you have to spend a quarter of your yeah, which is uh, resolve 5. points to stabilize which is one Sedona is going to run down and do a medicine check on Mike to try to treat wounds Does Sedona have Mystic Cure? Or, or not Mystic Cure, but... um. She has no spell slots. Oh, so well, well, that takes, it takes 10 minutes anyway to do um, the... Yeah, she's... All of all of that stuff is, like, gone from her. But she, she does have some... Oh, gosh. She fails to, to, to heal you. Very, very Sorry, nice. Man. Very nice. Oren, you're up. All right, is Mike up and 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 alive? No, no he's not. No. He's just stable, so he's still unconscious, but he's okay, stable. Okay, then there's. I mean, I really can't. I can't do much except try to shoot at the damn. You know, at the, the damn one? robot, right? Like that's yeah. it. Full do attack, it. I guess. Ugh. Full attack. I don't have an inspiration, do I? I don't think. I, I think I already spent. BKs, didn't I? Yeah, you, yeah. What did I spend it on? I don't even remember. Wait, I don't know if you have actually. Okay, what'd you roll? Seventeen on the first one. That's a hit. Two piercing damage. Nothing. Nine on the second one. So, miss. That's a miss. Yeah. So, oh, that's terrible. Uh, so, fell continues dragging Zeno, seeing him having taken shots and, and like kind of being unconscious and grimacing, seeing him you know, just holding on for dear life and uh, for the first time in the cast, invokes his AI like actually strikes up a kind of a conversation with it and says, Mask how much of a chance do you think we have? Well, Fel I would say that Maybe about 12.5% to make it alive, both of you, on the Epic Tracer. Fuck, that's not what I wanted to hear. And he just continues dragging him. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that gets him right to the base of the ramp. (laughs) Oh my god. Okay. Security class robots turn. Shoot Ziva. Me. <laughs> Ziva's standing there I'll, with I'll her ro- sword. Like, as soon as the other yeah. robot turned, she turned around to him and just, like, defiantly trying to just act as a bodyguard like Mike taught her. Oh, man. She rolls, an, rolls a 19 on the die, so that's going to hit you. Yep. But it's with non-lethal damage. It doesn't really matter how much damage I do, right? Because that knocks you back down. 
So she's she's prone. That correct? That's correct. That's very correct. On the ramp. Prone on the, on the ramp. Mm-hmm. Stabilized. Mike is prone. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. A stable. She's stabilized because it's non lethal. Right, right. Mike right. is stable. Ziva is stable. And Zeno are stable, but they are all unconscious. Sedona is desperately trying to help Mike. Fell is desperately trying to drag Zeno onto the ship. Orin is like just giving fire from the top of shit, like, come on, we gotta go. <laughs> Ziva. Are you going to use another resolve to get back in the fight? Yeah, she's going to uh, pop another v- resolve and jump back up to one hit point. And so she's prone, so she uses her movement to stand up. And it's her entire movement to stand. Yep. Uh, then she, as an action, is going to, uh, well, she's going to downgrade get him to, a move yes, too. Yeah, yes, I got sorry. you. Um, and use it on the robot, particularly yelling at Oren. Oren, take him down! <laughs> Please. It is the Aeon Guard's turn. (laughs) Oh, Oh, Jesus. Okay. He's going to move 20 feet. It's right here. Now, I'm going to roll a D3 at this point to determine who he attacks. Okay. Is that fair? Because he can only attack, really, Fell, Zeno, or Mike. He's he's down to kill anybody, you know. So one to two will be Zeno. Three to four will be Mike. And five to six will be Fell. Come on, please hit me. Please hit Fell. It's a, it's a one. No. No. Oh, my God. Bro. Bro. <laughs> so I'm sorry, man. No, like, you're not. <laughs> no, you are not. I. If, he hits Zeno. Oh. As you see his assault rifle fire fail, you're looking. You've dragged him all this way. And you see the muzzle flash as the bullet flies out and pierces Zeno right through his other eye. And comes out the back of his head. Wait, hold up. Zeno five is. Why is he dead? Zeno five is dead. Why? Why? Because he, he has not... no result. Well, no, he's not dead. He he's wasn't dead. stable. He's unstable. So, so he has until his next turn. Somebody yeah. has to stabilize him. Stabilized yeah. or healed yeah, or med. I'm your hunker, baby. I got you, dog. <laughs> don't don't say things uh, like that. Dude, Oof. dude, I Oof. just immediately still- like, just like completely forgot I was a stabilized, but B, god damn you at. Well, it's you're just it's just lucky that Warren is. Did he still get shot in the face? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's in bad shape, dude. Like he is in bad yeah, shape. Is going to take. He he is now literally in the worst shape you can be this side of dead. Yeah. Cool, cool. Blinded like a certain So what he needs What he needs is a DC a successful DC fifteen medicine check to get his ass back up. To or stabilize. not even up, but just to stabilize, yeah. To stabilize. Or this, you this can round. cast stabilize as a cantrip. Boom, what up? If if look, buddy, if you can do that, motherfucker, I'll do it. Dad, bro. Dude, also, I had to dab so on y'all because it's I got a, it. It's a little it's a little <laughs> stiff, but I like it. <laughs> Mike, you're up, my bud. Uh, yeah, I want to spend a resolve point to. I guess I should. I guess I should roll. I'm sorry. I guess I need to roll damage just to make sure. No, no I can't do enough damage for massive damage. Okay, go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to spend a sorry. resolve point to get back in the fight. One okay. fucking HP. Um, and then instead of like because I can't attack anything, I can use that as a movement, right? 
Yeah, use your move to get back up, and then you can use your action to move yeah. again if you'd like to. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm in such bad shape. Yeah, I'm gonna get onto the ramp and just pray that everybody else or can. Mike just crawls himself yeah. on the ramp, just like. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, like, if I were in any better position, I would try to, like, pick somebody up and walk them in, but I can't. Yeah, Sedona kind of retreats back up the ramp like, it's time to go. Oren. Oren sees Zeno take the shot, and Swift Action changes grips and just reaches out a hand and just sends a wave of cosmic... Not even a smooth, nice wave, a hasty, jittery, un almost unstable wave of cosmic energy... Uh, to cast Stabilize as a cantrip on Xeno. Oh, my man. My you got it, star my man. So, yeah. so he's stable, but he is in bad shape. <laughs> he is in bad, bad shape. Fel. Fel is going to just... Thinking that Zeno's dead, not realizing what Arn has done, it's just going to continue. To like he's on the bottom, at the base of the ramp right now, and it's going to move him just, just barely, almost to the threshold of the doors of the Epic Tracer. It just and okay. just says, "Come on, buddy, hold on, hold on, hold on." Ziva, you are up, right? Correct. Did you use to get back in the fight yep. thing. All right, so she, uh, this, the robots are going to attack you. Actually, it's going to move up and try to slam you. Well, fuck that guy. Nineteen. Yeah. Twelve damage. So back down to zero. Uh, now I am. Unstable, as that was a. Um, that was a lethal. That's hit, the yeah. one, yeah. So yeah, she flops back down on the ground. Okay, Zeno, my dude, you made it onto the ship, man. You made it onto the ship. It's been a wild ride. Yeah. Ziva, you're gonna spend one to stabilize. Yep. Okay, the guards. Now Ziva is left out by herself at the bottom of the ramp. Leon guard moves up 20 feet. The other one moves up 20 feet. Whew. They're both gonna fire on Ziva. Oh, full attacks. Well, no, not full attacks because they both moved. Adam, why are you this way? First one is going to be a 29 to hit. So that hits, so that knocks you into unstable. The second guard is going to also hit with a 30. So you're down another resolve point. We can't leave Somebody together. drag her ass Resolve on board as well. I have two left. You have two left. Mike, you're up. Is she? She's on the bottom of the ramp? Or she's like at... Yep, she's right there at the bottom with like right next to the security room. I mean, I could go get her, but I can't split my fucking movement up, right? Like, I can't go get her and drag her Well, the way back. it worked with Zeno, precedent... The way it worked with Zeno is he moved there and then his action was dragging. Here's the problem is that dragging her away would provoke an opportunity attack. On who? If she's got more resolve, it's fine. It's fine. If she's got more resolve, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. got two please left. Go get her. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Please we both have, get her. We both have <laughs> resolve. I, I have like four resolve if it hits me. Yeah. Uh, my I mean, he's in melee combat <clears throat> with me. He should hit me. Yeah, yeah, but the, yeah, the opportunity attack because you won't get. Oh, uh, okay. Reach. Well, yeah. Let her get hit, and I'll you just keep dragging her. Yeah. Get so hurt. Mike, getting <laughs> kind of getting his shit back together with one HP, 
sees the captain down there. Oh my and he's like, I didn't train you for nothing. And <laughs> what, stumbles down the ramp, grabs her fucking, down. look, look, grabs her by the feet, like not by the hands, like just whatever's closest and drags her ass up the ramp. It's not going to be graceful, but it's going to be alive. All right, you can drag, you can drag her 20 feet, yeah. you okay. know, presumably onto the, onto the ship. All right, let me see if this opportunity hits. Oh, it might miss, actually. Does a 16 hit? I thought it hits automatically if I'm unconscious. Against what? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, So, well, it gets a plus four against prone on melee attacks, so that's definitely going to hit. So, uh, yeah, you're going to lose another resolve, so you're down to one. One resolve point left. I'm on the ship. Is that what we said? Did we say that? Yes, you are on the ship. <laughs> yeah, I like drag her ass okay. in and then just like fall the fuck down uh, immediately after. Like, no, 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 we got to retract the slow ramp shape. back up. You know? No, <laughs> we don't care about getting their dicks hard for ramp. the slow ramp. <laughs> 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 That's Orin's turn. Orin slams the, the button on the side of the hatch to lift the ramp back up. Can I do that? Okay. And then t- and then takes his seat at the gunner's chair. Like Ziva's got one resolve to stabilize, right? Like, no, I mean not, not the gunner's chair, but the pilot's chair. We gotta go, everyone. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. go. Get us out of here. All right. Oh my god. So the patrol class robot gets knocked over as the ramp pulls up. It like kind of knocks it over on its back, and it's just kind of like <laughs> fucking turtling. Yep. The Aeon Guard is going to run and try to squeeze off one more blast into the ramp as it closes. Now, this is going to be made with a minus four to his attack. And it's going to, it looks like, Orin, you're at the top, so it's going to be at you. I thought, I, yeah. Orin's in the, in the chair. Oh, right. He moved into yeah. the chair. So, who would be at the top? I no think one, honestly, Fell's probably still up there. Like Zeno's on yeah. the ground. Fell is still Fel right there Ziva. at the top of the ramp. Fell, Zeno, and Ziva. So I'm going to do another D6 roll here. Fell's the no, only no, no. one standing up. Fel's no, the Fell's the only up. one standing there. Like Fell's on the only ground. one standing up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so he's going to fire at Fell. That's going to hit you, Fell, with a 22, right? Does that yeah, hit? that hits. Okay. For 11 damage. Ooh, I'm down to 6. <laughs> but I'm and alive. Then, uh, the and then the hatch closes. <laughs> Oren puts on, like, stomps on the gas, <laughs> fires up the engines, and it just like blasts flames into the, you know, exhaust flames into the front of the prison, catching it on fire. He like swings the tail around, knocking the Aeon guard down, smashing him to the ground, takes off fires a couple of laser blasts at the prison just for good measure as he sets the whole thing into a cataclysm of explosions. You guys escape the prison moon. You're in orbit only to see an Atlantis starship waiting for you. Of course. And we'll fucking see you. We will see you, Adam. We don't even have half of our crew ready to fight, dude. What are you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna sit in that fucking gun and show you live, one HP. I will see you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my Rise. god. Oh but hey, we fucking made it off the rock. Oh this episode has been sponsored by Roll20. This is how we roll. <laughs>